ابني اجمعين في الملائكه الاعلى لليوم الدين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد جاءكم رسول من انفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى as recorded is the book of Prophet Isa ibn Madim alayhi salam in the Quran al-Kareem saying Salamun alayya yuma walidtu wa yuma yub'atu hayya Subhanallah May peace be upon me the day I was born and the day I will be resurrected This establishes that the Anbiya alayhi salam Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam the days of birth are virtuous and should be commemorated The two verses of not like just recited from um, a memorable series Muhammadiyah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he stated ya akram al khalqi mali man aluza bihi o most honored of god's creation who should i take refuge in who should i go to on the day of resurrection when the disasters of the day of resurrection um, take place For on the day of resurrection, as we all know, there will be many trials and tribulations, such as the Salat and the Mizan itself, the, the trial of the scales and where the deeds will be weighed. And the sinners, of course, will be without a succor and without help on that day. So, Imam Abu Sayyid refers to the fact that Rasulullah Wasallam. Um, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa will be a means of intercession for the sinners on the final day. But on that day, when we have no other means of good deeds, we have no other means of help, our Messenger of Allah, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will be a means of intercession in the court of our Lord and will plead for our forgiveness and for our salvation. You see, in the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir and in the Tafsir of Al-Qurtabi, under the verse, if, if they had only come to you looking for, for forgiveness, God would have forgiven them and the Messenger of Allah would have forgiven them. And Imam Al-Qurtabi narrates from Abu Sadiq from Ali Allah, that three days after we, we buried Rasulullah a man came to the majestic grave of Rasulullah the Rasul Sharif and placed his head on the Blessings of Allah, reciting the verse that I mentioned before. And then he sang poetry, just as I did, and that, adding with this a plea that, O oh, Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa ask for my forgiveness. And so from this, it is further established that we should make, and it is virtuous to make, Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa an innocent interceder, and it means for us. Um, in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sins to be forgiven. Similarly, as my father my father just mentioned, it is in the Sahih of Imam Bukhari that when Abi Lahab, whose kufr is certain, um, was appeared to his dream, uh, given a dream to his brother Ibn Abbas, radiallahu an, um, with regards to his punishment, he actually mentioned <coughs> that his punishment had been decreased due to a, a good deed, due to a deed that he'd done despite his kufr, his unbelief. This deed was celebrating the murid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born and the news came to him of a nephew sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being born to him, Abu Lahab free, freed his slave Suwayba, his servant Suwayba. Only because of this small action of freeing a slave in that in that society of slavehood, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala granted Abu Lahab some recourse from his punishment and forgave him. Forgave him, you could say. So, furthermore, it is established that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's milad being celebrated and happiness being shown on it and light being shown on it is a means for our forgiveness of sins to be forgiven.
I will end with the Khatir of Imam Busri that we all know. Ya Rabbi bin Mustafa, Balirna Fasidana, or Khilana Namada, Ya Wasir Karami. Mashallah. Mawla Ya Salli wa Salim, that even evident, Allah Habibi Tahoe, the Khalki could be he.